Good evening and salutations, my YNR fans. Haven't said that in a while. Now, I miss this show. I miss the characters, I miss the vibe, and I just miss talking about these, these characters in general. I don't know, I see myself doing these reviews every now and then, because as much as I miss some of these characters and some of the stuff that's been on, some of this, like, I felt like I didn't even write that much notes because it wasn't really a lot that went on in this episode. He actually has some sort of a Gals Cow, <laughs> some sort of a Gals Pals meeting of trying to get rid of Diane. I'm like, <laughs> what are we, <laughs> what are we doing? But to be fair, I've not watched the show as long as other people have. Um, I don't know all the damage and the depth that this character has really put a lot of these other characters through. So, you know, if I was watching it from way back then, I might be on board with, you know, Operation Get Diane, the hell out of Genoa City, okay? But, um, you know, as a new, as a new first comer, I'm just like, I don't really, you actually got a meeting about this? Oh, okay, sure. So you got Ashley. I only actually had to look up some of the names twice. So, I think I actually did pretty good so far. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to look it up again from one other character. Amani's, um, I think, no, never mind. I was about to say Amani's, Amani's sister, and I was like, no, that is, that is her. Okay, um, so yeah, you got Phyllis, uh, apparently, and I've been going for a while, but from what I understand, Phyllis seemed like she trashed her relationship with Jack. By trying to get Diane. And you can tell when she's talking, you know, about getting rid of her and this, that, and the third. She gets so emotional about it that Ashley's like, yo, listen, are we gonna actually be able to get this plan done? Because Ashley Smith you're looking at Phyllis, like she's a wild card. You know, like she can't keep her emotions in check as far as you know, getting Diane out of town, and, you know, Phyllis is sitting there looking at Ashley, like, yo, listen, you gotta sit there and talk to Jack, you gotta get him to see the light, you know, and, you know, Ashley is like, listen, I only have so much influence over him, you know, I, at the end of the day, if I push too hard, you know, it's not gonna go well. So, ultimately, they seem like they don't really, well, Nikki is looking into her past, seeing what kind of scams, what kind of people she screwed, you know, um, Diane screwed over when she was in L.A. I guess Ashley's going to sit there and try to, well, Ashley's going to sit there and talk to um, Allie, which I got to sit there and talk about Allie. Once I'm done, because, um... So she's going to sit there and try to get... See if she can get through to um, Allie. And I guess Phyllis just has to sit there and... Do some meditation or something to make sure she doesn't lose it. Um, and alienate... Summer and Kyle, you know... Because apparently every time she says anything that's negative, you know, everyone... Well... Kyle and Summer and Jack is like, you know, Diane is like reformed or whatever. And, um, truth be told, I haven't really been watching the show that long, so I don't know if it's true or if it's just not. Um, now speaking of Ali, I, you know, in the beginning, I wasn't really a fan of Ali, and I remember kept getting so annoyed. Because I'm just like, oh great, another Allie who I really don't like. 
And as much as I don't like the IOU on Days, because she sounds kind of ditzy at times and just kind of very vapid. I this this alley is is annoyed over like stupidity. Well, not stupidity, just some dumb ish. To be honest, like she's talking to Noah because in the beginning they were kissing, and Jack came in, and Jack went to go do something else, and after the this bit of awkwardness. No invites, I guess, Ali to some sort of party or something. And at first, she's like, oh, I don't really know. I got work in the morning. I really want to sit there and impress my family. I don't want them to just think that, you know, I'm just going to sk skate by, you know, just on my name alone. I want to sit there and improve myself. So, Noah just wants to make sure that, you know, he's not pushing her, that she still wants to actually be in a relationship. Because one of the things that she said was, you know, her life is changing so fast in a good way. You know, she has a new job, she has a new boyfriend, she has a new family, people that want to get to know her, and all this stuff is moving really fast for her. It's a good thing. So I'm just like, well, what's the problem? You got all this, this good stuff that's going on with you, and so many people in this world are sitting there suffering, and that has far less than you. And this chick is sniffing and complaining, like, oh, this life, this, this whole thing of life, I got a new, apparently, guy who's been working out since the last time I saw him. Got this very loving and supporting grandfather, new family, and she's all, like, pouty about it. And I'm like, and, and, you know, she even says after when she talks to Jack, like, you know, this is probably silly or whatever. And, like, you know, Jack is just going to be Jack, so he's going to sit there and humor her. But I'm like, whoa, what are you, I'm sorry, what are you, what are you, what are you complaining about? Like, it just seemed like such a vapid thing to sit there and, and really, like, complain about. Like, your life is going great and you, you're having a problem with that. Why exactly? I don't, I don't get it. It sounds pretty stupid to me. And then there's one point where she's, like, just, like, she has this really stupid look on her face when she's sitting there thinking about Noah. And the way the camera just, like, points towards her face, it's just like... I don't think that that was... Like, people will okay hate that, or they just say, you know what happened? We, we miss you in all day, let's just throw out something. I had no idea, but it was, it was pretty dumb. So, long story short, and this is what somebody was telling me in the comment section. That Adam broke up with Sally so she can keep her job. And I don't know what was going on, but she was packing up her stuff. And you have Victoria and Nick came over there, you know, came in there. was like, no, we want you to stay. We think you have some really great ideas. And, you know, we, we want to keep you on temporarily. And if you prove yourself, you can be here longer. And Victoria made it very clear. Listen, if you can't do this. Tell me now, I'll give you a service package and a good recommendation. Um, and Victoria knew that she would accept the challenge, and later on, later on when she's sitting there talking to Nick, she's like, you know, this is exactly what we need as far as, you know, somebody who's very, who has a lot of good ideas. I think that's probably the one, I mean, here's the thing, I don't really know much about Sally. But she does seem like she has a lot of drive and focus when she wants to have it and when she's not busy, you know, pretty much kind of screwing up her life. Um, you know, she seems like she's a very hard worker and she's very fast learning. And so that was one of the things that Victoria was not there complimenting on her on top of the fact that, you know, she wants to prove herself. So one of the people that um, Sally, you know, is going to get on board with her is um, Chloe whatever her name is. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember her last name. And I'm also just like, oh, great, another Chloe to remember. That's just so awesome. Um, and, you know, Victoria's like, uh, we had a couple of candidates that, you know, had, like, you know, media background. And she does fashion. So, 
<laughs> you want to tell me why that makes sense? But, you know, Sally's like, you know, I worked really great with her before. And, you know, even though our last little thing didn't really work out, you know, I have confidence that she's going to be a fast learner and she's going to be really good for the company. So Victoria's like, all right, now listen, I'm going to just let this um, be one of your great ideas, and I hope it pans out, and um, I guess time will tell. Now, Nick and Victoria does see the three ladies, three gal pals or whatever, converting, converging or whatever. And so after they all leave, you know, they're just like, uh, Nicky, what, what's y'all doing? Don't, don't tell me that lie like you did last time. What was y'all doing? Nikki doesn't really say anything, they just kind of drop it, and they're just like, you know, listen, Nikki is very tough, and she, she can handle herself, so whatever it is, um, I'm pretty sure she's going to be fine. Now, question, I do got to ask, I did see a <clears throat> an episode, and I don't know if it was this an episode because they didn't air it, like, they didn't actually air the actual episode, but this was an episode where it seemed like Nikki was in prison. She was in jail or something, and they started doing these flashbacks. And I tried to find it on Paramount Plus, but I didn't see it. And it sort of reminded me of when Jack was sitting there going through memory lane with his dad, and I guess um, his sister was writing a book or something. And that was another episode I cannot find on Paramount Plus, so I don't, I don't know what that's about. I almost forgot to mention Sharon, and that's just because apparently, um, I keep saying that word a lot. So Noah, apparently, Noah is procrastinating, telling his dad that I guess he has some sort of new business venture, and I guess, you know, he's been working with his dad for a while, and now he, I guess he wants to go off the beaten path and kind of do his own thing, but he knows the conversation that he's going to have with his dad is going to be kind of rough. So, he stopped by, um, I think it's other society or um, Sharon's cafe club or something. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I remember society because I was like, hmm, like, hi, society. Oh, okay. I, I get it now. Um, but anyway, he stops by. He sees Sharon. And, you know, Sharon's like, listen, you got to sit there and talk to you. I know it's, it's going to be awkward, it's going to be difficult, but you need to have it. And, you know, while he was sitting there fixing, I guess, um, one of the coffee machines, you know, she noticed how happy he was um, as far as whatever he was doing. Like, you know, whatever his new thing that he has going on in his life, he seemed like he's pretty happy. And I, I mentioned that because the last time I was watching it, Last time I was watching the show, she seemed like she was pretty nervous about him. Because he just seemed like he was very drifty, like there was something off about him. I mean, who sent that dating that, that girl that was like, Oh, I dropped out of college because I want to be a social media influencer. I Every time I say that, I feel like I want to cringe into a giant ball of something disgusting I'm not going to talk about, but... He seemed, I mean, he did sit there and um, tell Mariah, or it was it Tess? I think it was Tess, that there was something wrong with him. I don't know, he was sitting there talking to Tess about something was wrong with him, and then I stopped watching it, so I don't know whatever that storyline was, and how it got resolved, but I'm pretty sure Ali had something to do with it, so, um, yeah, oh. I knew I I was like, wait a minute, there's a story that I'm missing, and that is the Ashlyn and Adam um, part of this episode. So Adam comes to see um, Ashlyn, and he's knocking on the door, no one's answering, and he gets one of the maids to let him in by saying, oh, well, you know, my friend has a heart condition, and, you know, I want to make sure he's okay, he's not answering the door. Anyway, the... She opens the door, and this room is trashed, okay? Now, I saw the previews where Ashton just loses it. And granted, the scene looked funny as hell. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be, like, a very intense scene, but the way he's all, like, he's, like, roaring and everything like that, and, like, I'm, I'm like, part of me was, like, 
I miss this show so much. If nothing else but to talk about some of the, um, the very interesting moments that this show has. Um, anyway, his room is trashed. He walks in, apparently, well, there's something else somebody was sent to saying. So he tried to go see Harrison. And Diane double-crossed him. He wound up in jail. And I'm, here's the thing about that, that, that part. That part bothered me. Because I remember seeing previews where Victor was telling somebody, I don't know who, but somebody, that like, you know, I want this bastard out of our lives, and I want to make sure that he doesn't see Nancy Harrison. And I look at that, I'm like, listen, if y'all want to sit there, and, you know, have your little argument, your little beef or whatever, okay, keep it between the adults. But involving him, you know, because he's a child, he's not going to understand why he can't see his dad or his uncle or whatever, you know, Ashley is to you know? Because of the adults in his life and, and all the fighting and chaos and nonsense and stuff like that, I just felt like it's weird. Because I want to sit there and say that Victor went too far, but I mean, Ashley lied about having That is always going to be a storyline that I felt like just went personally too far. Um, there's definitely a lot of lines that are being crossed. So, you know, Adam comes in there, and I feel like he, he comes in there to try to, I don't know, roll him up to, you know, have, have Ashlyn go, you know, after his family. Like, oh, you know, you... If you want to go back at my dad and stuff like that, you know, you got to get him where it hurts. You got, you got to go after his business, you know, you got to dismantle him and, and, and put him in financial ruins. You know, you got to you got to do that. And he's doing this whole, oh, well, you know, my family, you know, they don't like me. They're always using me, which to be fair, I feel that's really how he feels. But Ashley don't trust him. Okay, Ashley does not trust him. Um... Did Victoria really take that much money out of his bank account? Like, I've been out of the loop for a minute. So, the last stuff that I remember. With Ashlyn saving Victoria's life from a burning car. And it seemed like they was actually trying to start something serious. I don't know where that went because next thing I know... Victoria pretty much kind of double-crossed them, and then they started really being at odds, and this is pretty much where I am now. So, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm not even going to sit there and tell the story, because it's kind of gross. Um, but yeah, that's the last thing I remember, was that they were at odds. Now, Ashley doesn't trust them. And after, <clears throat> I guess he had I don't know, what is going on? Um, I guess he felt like he had an ally in Diane, but, you know, Diane double-crossed him, apparently to, you know, score points with the Newmans, a.k.a. Victor. Um, so, between that, his sister... He's like, you know what, I, I don't I don't really trust you. I'm gonna do you a favor. Whatever happens, I want you to get um plausible denial or something like that. He's like I wanna make sure that you are unaware, whatever happens, so when people come to you, you really don't know anything. But he does make it a habit of sitting there saying like, if you really wanna get that victor, you don't got this business. You got this family. AKA you go out to his favor child, which is Victoria. And when he says that, you know, he pretty much kind of kicks Adam out the room. Adam, <clears throat> I don't know exactly where Adam goes, but he looks at the, you know, when he, when he um, opens up his phone, he looks at the number, and he sees Victoria like he wants to call her. The, here's the thing, the minute that he said he was going to go at the Victoria. 
you know, I've been watching the show that long. I know they have been going at each other for, well, eons. But I can't imagine that there's a world where he's okay. Like, the thing with Ashlyn is, it's probably one thing if Ashlyn takes her down financially, he humiliates her, he does something to make her look bad, to make her feel bad. But Ashlyn's dangerous. And I don't think that, despite how angry that Adam is at Victoria, that he's going to let some sort of bodily harm come towards him. So he's not there looking at the phone, and he gets a call from Sally. Now Sally calls, and Sally's like, yo, listen, if you only broke up with me so I can keep my job, I don't want it. You know? I don't know why. I, I Maybe because it's out of a sense of pride. Maybe she feels like she can earn her keep on her own, and she doesn't need Adam to be like, hey, you know, do her any favors. Well, let's be fair, though. You know, she only got that job at the Newman's because of Adam. So it's like, you got a Newman to get you in the door. Don't sit there and try to act like, Oh, like I don't need I don't I don't really know why I'm just guessing at this point. Um, so feel free to tell me in the comment section below. Yeah, I feel like that's about it for the most part. Um, if I miss anything, please write it down in the comment section below. It was an interesting episode. It was an interesting episode. I was gonna sit there and say I could do without the whole, you know. Gal pals meeting about trying to, you know, eject um, Diane from Salem, but I haven't really been watching the show in a long time, and so there was a lot of stuff that I missed, and you know that stuff kind of filled me in, so I can't can't really knock it. Um, yeah, well, no, on this decent episode. Now I'm gonna be honest; I don't know exactly how long I'm gonna be doing these reviews. I'll probably be every now and then. Um. I don't like doing it that way. I'd rather do it like full time, but schedule and everything like that is kind of waking up at the um, ass crack of dawn. Literally. Makes it very difficult to even do three sometimes, but I don't know. B&B is like 18 minutes, so it's just kind of like extra at this point. Um, yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.